Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give a quick tip on how to use your iPhone as a streaming webcam on your computer for use in Zoom or other kind of video conferencing calls. I think you'll find that if you're using an older laptop, uh, it is probably a lot better than the built-in webcam on your laptop so you can get a big boost in your, your video quality uh, while you're streaming. So let's get into it. Uh, so what I want to tell you about is this thing called NDI. It's from a company called NewTek. They have a couple of apps in the App Store. There is the NDI HX Camera, which will let you stream your camera. And there is the NDI HX Capture, which will let you essentially stream whatever is on your iPhone screen. So apps, uh, the home screen, anything. Um, so both of these apps used to be paid apps. I know the camera app used to be 20 bucks. I actually bought it when it was 20 bucks. Uh, it's been kind of cool to have to toy around with, but uh, because of the global situation right now, this is actually a free app right now. Both of these are. So I would encourage you to download them so that you have them and you can take advantage of them. It's nice that NewTek made them available for free. Uh, if you have more than one iOS device, like I have an iPad and an iPhone, uh, just downloading it on one allows you to grab it on all of your devices and you can kind of use this to switch back and forth. So step one, go to the App Store, search for NewTek, N-E-W-T-E-K, N-D-I. Um, that will give you the option for these apps. You're going to just select the camera app. So we're going to launch the camera app and you will see the camera is here. Uh, the main, there's two things you need to know about this. One is this blue or white NDI button. When it's blue, it means it's on your cam. This means that your phone is broadcasting a camera feed onto the network for a computer or some other thing to pick up. There's also this little cog that will turn on all of the other settings at the bottom. So this gives you uh, exposure control and zoom and uh, a little grid to be able to turn on, uh, lower, do lower thirds and things like that. There's also the flipper so you can switch to camera view. Um, and the, the big thing is this uh, bandwidth slider. So you can actually tap it to do a low, medium, and high uh, bandwidth. Uh, this, If you're doing on a Wi-Fi network, uh, you might want to try the, the low bandwidth version to be able to make sure that you minimize your, your lag. Um, but in this case, I don't know if it'll matter that much as long as that your audio, you're also using the audio from your phone. Um, so we will switch over and I will show you the next step, which is what you need to do on your computer to actually make this work. So on your computer, the first step is to go to ndi.tv slash tools, and that will bring you to this website for the NDI tools um, from new tech. Uh, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom there will be these three panels NDI tools for Windows and for Mac you're going to click the one for Windows because uh, we're trying this out on a PC uh, the Mac does not have the same virtual input program so this is actually the what we're interested in is, is this virtual input program that comes with the tools um, so click download there'll be a form to fill out with your name email address and verify you're not a robot that will do another pop-up on the screen that you can click download and then that will give you the executable to, to download onto your computer. Um, run that, install that. You should be able to just accept all the defaults for it. Uh, there is an option in there about if you want the virtual input to run by default when Windows starts. You can decide if you want that or not. It's disabled by default. Um, if you do not have that on, you will need to launch this application before you start something like Zoom. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, we will zoom down to the bottom here and start, go to the start menu. I'm gonna type NDI virtual, start typing that. And then we can launch this application. When you do that, there will not be a screen that you will see. What it is actually doing is we're putting a icon down here by your clock. So there it is, the NDI virtual input. Uh, if you don't see it there, it may be in, in the little pop-out here. So when I click it, it actually jumps into the pop-out. So there it is. If you right-click on that, this is where you can actually select which feed you want your computer to see on your network. So since I have my phone is running, with the 
uh, NDI camera app, it shows up here. I can make sure that that is selected. I can jump back out and then I can launch Zoom or whatever other program I actually want to use this in. So I will go ahead and launch Zoom and we can go into the cog for the settings and video. And I've already selected it in here, but there should be an option to select the in new tech NDI video. Uh, it might take a, a second or two to pop in because your video may be on a delay just because of the latency um, on your network. You can see here, it's not actually too bad, um, but it does take a second sometimes for it to pop in. Um, if for some reason it doesn't pop in, um, you might try closing zoom. You might try switching uh, back and forth to a different camera. Um, you might also try going back down to this little icon and switching it to none and then back to your phone. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. You may have to actually exit this and relaunch the application. Um, usually it's okay, but sometimes it can be a little tricky. So just try restarting a few of the apps just to, to kind of get things working again. But this is what you need to do to set it up. So if I go ahead and start a new meeting and zoom on this computer, you can see that this is actually coming in through my, my iPhone. And if you click on next to the video icon, there is a little arrow and this will give you a different options for the video feed that you're wanting to bring in. So I have the uh, new tech NDI video um, selected there. Uh, you can see if I switch, this is my Lenovo cam that is my default on my laptop, which is not nearly as good as what my iPhone is. So I will switch back and this is my iPhone. So as you can see, there is a pretty substantial quality difference in what you get when you are using your phone. Uh, versus just a built-in laptop camera. Uh, the other thing I like to point out is that, and I'll switch back here to the laptop camera. So when you're on a laptop, you're usually looking down at the screen, which is not necessarily the best view to get. Um, it's better to have an, your laptop, your camera more angled up. So ideally I would move my laptop up and try to adjust it so that I'm kind of centered in the frame, eye is about two thirds of the way up in the, the frame, and then looking straight at the camera. So you gotta pretend that the person's eyes you're looking into is the camera lens. So this gets a little bit better, but I'm kind of having to hold my laptop up here, uh, which is not very comfortable. It's not feasible for an actual meeting. So that is another huge advantage of moving to this uh, streaming your phone. Not only is it much better quality, but it's a lot easier to position your iPhone somewhere that you can be more directly looking at the lens so that it your, your camera looks a lot better. And then it also gives you the kind of cool lines in the app to, in the new tech app to be able to, to get your, your framing on there. So I like this. I think it's a pretty cool trick. If you do not have a, there's are definitely some people who do not have a camera at all on their computer. If you, I know a lot of developers at uh, the company that I work for, um, they had desktop machines that they worked on that probably did not have a camera on them at all. So um, if you are a coworker of mine, or if you are also a developer in that situation where maybe you brought your desktop computer home and you don't have a uh, USB uh, camera or some other way to get a camera into your Zoom calls. Uh, this is a great way to do that without having to dial in in the Zoom app on your phone and then also be dialed in on your computer. Uh, that's kind of the, the hack way of doing it. But if you wanted to actually bring your, your phone in uh, as a camera, this is a way that you don't have to purchase any new equipment. You can get the free apps from the App Store right now and the uh, NDI tools for Windows are free, and all you need to do is just have this set up, and you're good to go. 
Uh, one other thing I would recommend if you're going to do this, uh, something that you might be able to get your hands on easier than a USB microphone or a USB um, webcam right now or any kind of capture equipment um, is some of these tripod type things. So I just have uh, one of these little Manfrotto uh, tripods. And then this is a pretty popular mount for your, your phone. It lets you swivel it either way so you can kind of turn your phone wide landscape or portrait you know have to clamp your phone a certain way to get the the, the tall way but um, it's pretty convenient to have both for just facetiming family talking with people or just to be able to set it up on your desk and have some flexibility for positioning um, your equipment as well so um, i will put some links to these things in the description uh, the ndi stuff and also uh, some of the camera equipment uh, but if you like this tip uh, please smash that like button uh, that will help me out and also uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel I'd, um, there'll be more tips and tricks on tools and setup and gear and things like that on the channel um, as well as uh, the other topics that i'm interested in uh, product management workshop design uh, and many other things. So I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you like this content, um, again, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, and I hope this video was helpful to leveling up your, your video. Um, I think this is a, a time where a lot of people need the equipment and can't always find it. So this is a, a pretty handy tip to be able to level up your video without having to buy any new equipment right now. So Hope you like this and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.